Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is second grade, module eight, lesson 11. And in this lesson, students are gonna be describing a hole, as in W-H-O-L-E, hole, uh, by the number of equal parts. So including halves, thirds, and fourths. So the idea would be, we want students to be learning that a whole is made up of two halves, or three-thirds, or four-fourths, and even more than that, we want students to be able to identify what would a whole look like if they're given a third. So let's get started. So for example, <clears throat> let's say I take one of these and I tell you that this is one half. Well, if that's one half, then what would a whole look like? Well, a whole would be two of them because we know that one half plus another half equals one whole. All right. Same idea with thirds. So like, let's say I take this and I say, okay, this is one third and I'll say one third okay well if that's one third what does one whole look like well we know we're, we need three of them one two three so the idea would be this is one third this is one third and this is one third and so together, all three of those is one whole. And that's the idea in second grade, is how to identify when you're given a fraction, either a half or a third or a fourth, um, how to identify then what would one whole look like. And of course, it's that unit that does all the uh, delivering the information that we need to know how many pieces we need in a whole. So we're going to start by saying, okay, for parts A, C, and E, so that's down there, identify the shaded areas. So we're going to look at A. And so what is shaded? Well, one half is shaded. And what's shaded over here? Well, that would be two halves. But we don't say it with an F. We say it with a V-E-S, two halves. And then, of course, circle the shape that has a shaded area that equals one hole, that shows one hole. So which one of these shows one hole? And it's this one. More of the same. So we're going to look at this and what, how much is shaded in. Well, that's one-third. This is two-thirds. And this is three-thirds. Now, parents and teachers, the idea for students in second grade is we want to teach them to learn the convention. And unfortunately, this is not very mathy. This is mostly school conventions or lingo, which is when we're talking about shaded in, we're talking about shaded in gray, not shaded in white. I mean, it's, I don't know, it's just a convention because couldn't you say that this is shaded white? So when we're looking at this figure, we want to help our students kind of understand the convention that when we're talking in sh talking shaded, we're talking that part right there. So it'd be two thirds and here three thirds. Now, which one of these shapes represents the whole thing? And of course, that's this one. Three thirds represents one whole. More of the same, just getting a little bit more complicated with more parts. So again, remember, we're teaching the convention of shading. What, what does shaded mean? And <clears throat> in this case, we've got one-fourth. Here we've got four-fourths. Here we've got three-fourths. And here we've got two-fourths. Now what's really cool here, parents and teachers, is they didn't put them next to each other. You kind of, you always see them next to each other, and that doesn't have to be the case. So that's what I love about this problem right here, is they're splitting them up, showing you the kind of creativity and variety that is allowed. Now, which one of these shows one whole? And of course, that's four-fourths. Now here, it says, what fraction do you need to color so that one whole is shaded? 
Well, remember, <clears throat> we've got this part is shaded, and we want the whole thing to be shaded. So what do we need to shade? We need to shade in this piece right here, which is one half. Over here, <clears throat> same idea. We see that one little piece is shaded in, and that's out of three. So that's one third that has been shaded in so far. Now, if we want to shade in the whole thing, we're going to have to shade in these two right here, which means, which means we're going to have to shade in two thirds. All right, and that's the idea for the rest of these problems. So let's get a little creative. Let's go down to E. So let's take a look at E. Now, how many have been shaded in? Two out of how many altogether? Well, we want our students to see that there's four pieces. So we're talking about fourths. We're talking about fourths here. And if we want to shade in to make one whole, that means we have to shade in these two fourths. So what do we have to shade in is the two fourths. And that's the idea for this slide. Moving on, it says complete the drawing to show one whole. So we did this earlier in this video. It says this rep represents one half. So if we wanna draw what one whole would look like. If this is one, well, let me put it um, right here, one half. So if this is one half and we want to draw one whole, that means we need to draw another copy of what we have. So one half plus another half equals one whole. Over here, if this is one third, so let's zoom in a little bit here. So if this piece right here is one third, one third, and we wanna draw one whole, well, how many thirds do we need to draw one whole? So that would mean we need another one and one more. So we would need three thirds to equal one whole. So that is now equal to one whole. And the last one is if this little piece right there is one fourth, then let's write that down. That's one fourth. And if we want to draw one whole, that means we're going to need four of these. One, two, three, which means we need to draw three more. So this now is one whole because you have four fourths, and that makes one whole. And let's zoom out so you can see that whole thing. So parents and teachers, you might want to pause and, and allow your students to just soak all of that in. And that wraps up second grade module eight, lesson 11, describing what the whole would look like when we're talking about halves, thirds, and fourths.